Well, students, in previous class, uh, we have discussed about the food materials and the components and how the food materials are prepared by using ingredients. Means various ingredients, okay, are used in the food materials. Okay, so now uh, we are going to discuss about the topic from where these ingredients are comes from. Okay, means sources of ingredients, right? So ingredients, as you know, ingredients means the materials which are used in the preparation of food materials. Okay, so to prepare one food materials, we require more than one means many ingredients we will use to prepare one food materials, right? So like this various ingredients are comes uh, from various sources various ingredients are comes from various sources so they are from some of the ingredients we will obtain from plants some of the ingredients we obtain from animals some of the ingredients we obtain from others means that neither from plants nor from animals. From other sources we will get the ingredients. Okay. So what are the ingredients and uh, how can we get uh, discuss See here. First of all we have some ingredients are there in this table. So ingredients which we use in the preparation of food materials. Okay. So here plant or animal or others. Right. If it is comes from or obtained from plants we have to write P. Okay, if it is obtained from animal, we have to write A. Or it is not from plant, not from animal, we have to write that is O. O means others, right? Then come to name of the plant or animal. If obtained from plant, if this ingredient obtained from plant, we have to write the plant in India. If these ingredient obtained from animal, we need to write the animal name. Or others means others, okay? The name of the source we have to write here. And we have to write here whether it is comes from plants, animals or anything. Okay. Let us start to fill the table. First ingredient, cooking oil. Okay. So, we have different cooking oils are there. Like sunflower oil, uh, groundnut oil, palm oil. Uh, many oils are there but every oil, most of oil will get from plants. We will get from plant. Groundnut oil. If it is groundnut oil, we will get from groundnut plant. If it is sunflower oil, we will get from sunflower. If it is coconut oil, we will get from coconut. Okay. So, likewise, uh, cooking oil, which we use in the preparation of food, we will get from plant. So, here I am taking sunflower oil. So, that is why the name of the plant is sunflower. As you wish, if the name of the oil, if the oil you get from groundnut oil if you you can write here groundnut okay so next one honey right honey is ingredient which used in this preparation of sweets this we will get from plants at the same time animals nothing but insects okay so from plants the insects like honey bees collect the nectar from flowers from flowers the flies, sorry, from the flowers, the honeybees collect the nectar and they turn that nectar into honey. Means here the two sources are involved in the preparation of honey. So that's why I have written here plants and animals. That is various flowers and honeybees. Okay, various flowers and honeybees. Come to chips. We have banana chips, potato chips. So, that chips will prepare by using the products that is a plant product. Okay. If it is a potato chips, we will get the potato chips from plant. So, the name of the source is potato. Okay. If it is banana chips, you can write here banana. Then come to turmeric powder. It is turmeric powder which is antibiotic and which provide color to the food material. So, this turmeric powder will get from plant. Okay. So, which plant? Turmeric plant. Which get from turmeric plant. Then come to salt. Yes. From where you get the salt? From animals or plants? Okay. It is not from planting plants, not from animals. We will get this from others. What is others? Others means we have to write O. So, that other C is C. Okay, from sea or ocean, we will get the salt. Then come to dough. 
disease is this plant product or animal product is you are right it is plant product okay so the which plant is based on the dough if it is wheat plant sorry if it is wheat dough we can write here wheat if it is rice dough or rice flour we can write rice so based on the type of flour we have to write the name for example if this dough is nothing but a, it is a wheat dough so the name of the plant is wheat right likewise come to meat is will get meat from animals meat get meat will get from animals animals means like uh, from where will get from goat will get meat from sheep will get meat from hen okay in some people you some people use uh, meat of a pig okay so like this uh, we'll get meat from the animals so here what we had to write a okay then come to rice is rice is plant product or animal product is you are right it is plant product the name of the plant paddy okay from paddy plant we'll get rice grains that we are using as our primary food then eggs okay eggs eggs animal product or plant product is eggs animal product from where you will get the eggs hen duck rooster etc come to sugar is this sugar plant product or animal is yes, it is a plant product which plant to sugar cane okay sugar cane provide sugar to us we'll get sugar from the sugar cane then come to peanuts peanut it is a plant product we we'll get this from peanut plant okay so these are the ingredients and their sources along with names you can enrich this list by with your own uh, food material with your own ingredients and write their sources and their names also okay so here see Uh, we'll get uh, from animals. We'll get milk, eggs, and meat. If you observe carefully, you will notice that there are a number of animals from which we get different kind of food, isn't it? Goat and sheep use as meat. As yes. hens and roosters are used as meat. At the same time, the legs also. So in plant we eat different parts like leaf part, a uh, root part. In some plants we will eat even flowers also. Example, cauliflower. Okay. So likewise we will eat various parts of a plant as our food, as our food. So you see here we get varieties of food materials from plants, isn't it? As we we'll get from plants, fruits, flowers. Veg, uh, vegetables, we all uh, various materials we will get from plants. Not only food materials. But apart from food materials, plant plant provide like uh, wood, paper, gum, resins, latex, many materials they provide. But here we are discussing only about food materials, right? Okay. Just now we have discussed that carbohydrates, proteins, vitamins, even that sources, that food components also we can get from. We'll get from this. plants okay so in some plants we eat only some parts as our food isn't it is yes. for example mango is there this is mango tree in this mango tree which contain more fruits lot of fruits are there okay so which part of this mango you will eat root part shoot part leaves branches flowers fruits what do you mean is we like to eat only fruits we like to eat only fruits from this plant likewise in some plants we like to eat flowers okay we like to eat flowers in some plants like carrot beetroot radish we need root part okay so like was various plants uh, store the food in a various parts that parts we eat as our food we take entire plant as food some in some plants in some plants we take total plant as our food okay not only fruit part not only flower part total all parts of the plant also we'll eat as our food okay then 
come here what is what is the food material or the parts of the plant which we eat okay but before going to learn that here we have some pictures are there so identify these pictures did you ever see these pictures yes food they are nothing but food ingredients okay food ingredients so name this food ingredients here it is what is this cloves means we'll say lavang this is ilachi this is cashew nut almond this is walnut pista kismis so various food materials are there so once go through this do you know into do you know what is there to make biryani or kheer we use different types of ingredients yes such as ilachi see you can see the ilachi in the picture here is the ilachi here is the ilachi is ilachi and uh, this is also called cardamom come to another one lavang we use lavang here is lavang okay this we call clove then dalchini here is the dalchini okay what is the another name of dalchini cinnamon then biryani leaves here biryani leaves pepper here is there is no pepper so pepper also we will use in the preparation of biryani see what are the ingredients are used ilachi lavang dalchini biryani leaves pepper etc used in the preparation of biryani and kheer so they are called condiments they are called condiments what are condiments here biryani leaf lavang ilachi dalchini pepper they are condiments and also called sugandha dravyalu it is very important sugandha dravyalu they provide fragrant to the food material so that's why we call it fragrant material okay you will get a different smell from the paisam you will get different smell from the biryani so how the biryani getting that much smell it got smell because of this fragrant materials which used okay so they are called sugandha dravyalu also called condiments okay these are condiments then what about these all see cashew nut here it is a cashew nut then almond here is almond kismis this is kismis this kismis is been made up of grapes okay so from grapes we will get the kismis how this grapes they use it to dry means total water evaporate from this grapes then this grapes turns into kismis means dry grapes dry grapes called kismis after drying the grapes after removal of total water contained in the grapes that we will call dry grapes because this drying the method of drying helps to the grapes to store many days okay in this case in the dry grape that these dry grapes we can store many days and we can use in a various food materials like the sweets okay so dry grapes etc are also used these also we used in the preparation of pies so these are dry fruits what we call them dry fruits here these all condiments here these all dry fruits okay so condiments and dry fruits grow in a particular place only so you cannot see or ever, did you ever see uh, the trees or plants of these ingredient uh, these condiments and the dry fruits no see because everywhere everywhere uh, is uh, these they will grow in only in a particular place only grow in a particular place that is based on the soil nature or based on the availability of nutrients based on the climatic condition okay so like this uh, various factors are involved in the uh, growing of these crops that's why they grow only in a particular area okay particular area that is suitable to grow this plants only in that area they used to grow but in other uh, areas you cannot see these uh, condiment plants or dry fruit plants so they grow only in some area and also they available in less quantity they available in less quantity they are not available like our brinjal tomato bitter gourd potted gourd so likewise these are not get uh, widely okay they are available in less quantity 
they are like vegetable fruits available in large quantity but come to these dry fruits and the condiments available in less quantity so that's why they are very expensive they are more expensive okay so they use it to available they are available in less quantity that's why the price is more and they are very precious and expensive okay is it clear here this is a walnut this is pista these are condiments and dry fruits very expensive ingredients which we use in the preparation of biryani and payasam right here we have table what is there in this table let us see see fenugreek so this fenugreek here uh, mustard sugar cane carrot onion cabbage asafoetida some of the plants are there some plant names are there here and the parts that we eat okay means this fenugreek this part uh, this plant in this plant which part we will eat as our food that we have to write here okay for example banana is there. in the banana plant which part you will eat is we need fruit okay like in spinach spinach is a food material in this spinach plant which part you will eat is leaf okay we will eat leaf part likewise here some material some plant names are there so which part of this plant we will eat we have to write here the so first one fenugreek here is the ingredient name of the plant that is fenugreek so what is meant by fenugreek menthol in this fenugreek the part which we eat leaves seeds you know that menthol is nothing but seeds the seeds and leaves we consume as our food come to mustard avalu so in this plant which part we will eat seeds is avalu nothing but seeds sugar cane this sugar cane is a source for sugar okay we'll get sugar from the sugar cane then which part of sugar cane we consume is stem part okay in the sugar cane we use stem as a food carrot it is a root vegetable means we'll eat root part from this carrot onion is we'll eat stem here onion is nothing but stem it is stem vegetable cabbage it is a leaf okay leaf bird leaf bird okay so leaf a part of this cabbage we will eat as our food asafoetida is nothing but ingwa okay the bark from bark of this asafoetida we will get ingwa likewise many plants and from that plants we will get various parts uh, as our food okay so here we have some questions let us see the questions which part of the plants do we generally use generally fruit parts right fruits a fruit part and leaf part we will use as our food right for example brinjal is nothing but fruit mango apple they all are fruits even some vegetables also nothing but fruit part that is a brinjal uh, bottle gourd ridge gourd okay bitter gourd this is all nothing but fruit part of the plant we are using as our food then come to leaf like spinach coriander these all leaves do you we uh, also use flowers as food is yes. some flowers also we use as our food example cauliflower right cauliflower is a flower part which we use as our food then is there any plant of which all part of uh, it can be eaten so some plants we eat all part like as mm, leaf vegetables okay like leaf vegetable we can use and uh, some as a food in other you ingwa okay that also we will use all part of the plant we use to eat okay see here we use various parts of plants for our food right still we are discuss that leaves roots seeds and fruits of plants are widely used whereas stems and flowers are not so widely used isn't it so we need several ingredients to cook different types of food okay several ingredients we require to cook various food materials whatever may be the source of ingredient whether it is comes from plants or animals or any other source like minerals salt so we will use various ingredients to prepare food materials okay so we use some in plenty but others are needed only in a small quantity isn't it once we see mother one mother uh, going to prepare a uh, curry okay for example tomato curry so in preparation of this tomato curry she used one cup of tomatoes right one cup of tomato she used but 
she ought to use one cup of salt isn't it okay she used this salt in required quantity how much quantity of salt she required to prepare the curry she will use but she won't use the ingredients in similar quantity some ingredients she use more okay in some ingredients she will use in less quantity some ingredients she will use in more quantity okay so based on the food item the ingredients and the quantity also change means here you have to remember to prepare food materials we require various ingredients at the same time the ingredients also we use in various quantity different quantity some ingredients we use in plenty means in more quantity some ingredients we use in less quantity isn't it by using that in a proper uh, manner means some based on the measurements the measurement gives taste to the food materials okay the measurement is important here some we used in more quantity some are used in less quantity so that provide a taste to the food material if the salt increase how it will be is it tasted no so required amount is essential so this is the food materials ingredients and the quantity this remaining this topic how people develop food habits this we will discuss in next class